Greetings, alchemists. Welcome or welcome back to my portal. I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. Welcome, welcome. I'm here today with another psychic reading for you guys. This reading is all about the gossip on you in the spirit realm on the other side. So this should be interesting. I'm not exactly sure how the messages are going to come out, but we will see. We will see. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, check out my website, which is linked down below. And also, you can become a member of my channel now. Also, join my Patreon for exclusive content. So, we have two different groups here today. So, this is group number one. And this is group number two. So take a few deep breaths, connect with your intuition, decide which group is resonating with you the most, and I will see you in your reading. Hello group number one, welcome to your reading. So if you guys chose this rock piece of <laughs> gravel <laughs> um, that I've painted here, this is your reading. Um, so what is the gossip on you in the spirit realm? I'm really getting this energy of travel, so I feel like you guys have been manifesting travel and your spirit guides are kind of talking about how this travel is coming in for you maybe unexpectedly or sooner than you think. I think there's also opportunities coming in for you guys, so it's like you guys have been manifesting for a while and manifesting in the sense that you could have been consciously doing different manifestation techniques, but I also feel like you guys have been taking the action as well there's an energy here of inspired action so you guys have also been taking the steps to creating something so you have that good balance of inspired action manifestation your spirituality and then also your practicality and i see that it's like this stable um thing that you're building i'm getting a sense of consistency being very important for you guys um and i think what the gossip really is, it's about your perseverance or what you've created for yourself, okay? Everything that you've kind of gotten now and everything that you will manifest more so in the future, it feels like abundance coming in for you, what you have now being tenfold. Um, it's something that you created for yourself, something that you did for yourself, right? It's like this self-made energy, yeah, self-made energy. Um, I think your guides are gossiping about how you may not even realize how big the steps you're currently taking are in terms of what you're going to create for yourself in the future. And there's going to be opportunities for you to enjoy nice things and do more things that maybe you in the past didn't have the same opportunities or advantages to do. Um, and it's all because of your own efforts. And I see that you may not even be seeing your own power right now or what you're creating but it's also funny because your guides are kind of excited for you because you're going to surprise yourself but at the same time it's not even that much of a surprise because it's what you've been creating it's what you've been manifesting maybe there's a part of you that doesn't fully believe it or believe in yourself 110 percent or this is also what you're kind of working towards or um, working with is the energy of your self-belief and your self-concept but even if you do have an idea of what you are creating for yourself I think that it's gonna be bigger than you actually expect and there's an energy here of like pride and maybe the peacock energy as well is what I'm getting um, being proud of yourself and what you've done and that you should be more proud of yourself maybe you're you know not really um, as boastful as you should be right uh not that it's really about the energy of boastfulness in order for outside validation or to prove anything like that it's just for yourself to be proud of yourself and recognize okay i did this i did this on my own i accomplished this i put in effort i put in energy i worked on myself whatever the case is i think that the gossip is that you need to actually take a second and just you know acknowledge what you've done and really be proud of that and you know give yourself a little pat on the back maybe give yourself a hug and the tea is really that you just don't see what's ahead for you okay so i'm definitely getting an energy of travel 
Um, yeah, I'm also seeing like cloud gazing. So your guides definitely could send you messages um, through the skies. So I feel like if you are like cloud gazing, pay attention to the different shapes and uh, you know how when you're I'm also seeing like stargazing as well. There's just an energy of like expansiveness or like spaciousness. Um, but you know how when you're cloud gazing, you start to see different shapes in the clouds. I think that there's like maybe some questions or some answers that you're seeking and the answers are literally like in the skies, like in the clouds. If you were able to see the symbolism, then you would maybe have the answers or the guidance that you need. And some of you guys, that's clarity because um, recently you have kind of wondered you have felt like you got a message but you also were wondering well was that truly a message or is that just what i'm seeing is that just what i'm perceiving and um the answer is both because it is a message but it's also based on your own perception and the only way that you're able to perceive something is based on what it is that you're trying to gain wisdom about okay and also your own ability to see and understand things in your own unique perspective so don't really dismiss your own um, realizations or epiphanies or signs or anything like that just because they are, you know, coming from yourself or your own mind space, if that makes sense, okay? Um, I think the gossip on you is that you're expanding a lot, is that you're uh, taking up a lot of space. I feel like you guys are taking up more space as well. Maybe you weren't taking up space as much in the... Um, past right meaning that you were dimming your light or playing small it's like um yeah your your name is being spoken in rooms that you haven't entered as well it's uh it's like you guys don't even realize your own power and it's also a need, there's a need for you to to step into this to act as if even if you don't fully fully feel like you're um exactly who you're trying to be in the sense of being your most embodied version whatever it is that you're aiming towards whatever goal it is whatever position it is you need to act as if act as if you have the position act as if you already are embodying the energy that you want to embody and this is the first step to becoming this certain thing i think the t is that you need to um Get out of your old ways of being and allow yourself to grow and transform and expand into this bigger, more powerful, expansive version of yourself without holding yourself back because of your sense of identity or what you're, you know, used to perceiving yourself as, okay? So lots coming through for you guys just from this little rock here. Uh, let's get into the tarot. Let's see. What's the gossip on group number one? In the spirit realm, let's see. I'm hearing that song. Somebody real is hard to find. Somebody worth all your time. Someone who knows all of your flaws and doesn't impose, try to control them. Uh, so I feel like there's something there's like a true love manifesting for you guys, okay? There in this love, it feels like someone who knows all of your flaws doesn't impose, doesn't try to expose them or like mold them. It's like um, an energy of meeting people who you don't feel like are trying to mold you. And this is a manifestation of you no longer trying to mold yourself, okay? I do see an energy here of you guys trying to change and evolve, but that's just in the sense of becoming more connected to your truest essence, to your highest self. But I think that as you learn not to mold yourself in the sense of what you think you should be in order to appeal to others' expectations or standards or the society, whatever the case is, molding yourself for things outside of you, for outside validation, right? The male gaze, the female gaze, trying to conform to all of these different things. It's a level of you shedding this. And I think what um, the gossip is that your spirit guides are really acknowledging the fact that as you do this as you release it's like you're molding yourself you're molding your reality but it's more powerful because it's coming from what you truly desire at a soul level and that desire is coming from what's your truth it's not coming from what you know sally desires for example like it's not coming from 
someone else's desire that you once thought was yours but you are realizing that some of these things are coming from superficiality or just energies outside of you trying to prove something it's like uh, some of you guys can feel like you're kind of resetting because you you no longer feel like you're trying to prove anything and it's also through that realization where it's like well if i'm not trying to prove this and i'm not trying to prove that to others then what do i truly go towards what does truly matter towards me or for me to me <laughs> and as you do that you're also going to attract people and love into your life even friendships and just this beautiful energy of others who are trying to change or mold you because in the past that energy being projected where you felt like you had to change or transform or others weren't allowing you to be who you truly wanted to be it was partially coming from within you an aspect of yourself that wasn't allowing yourself to be your true self and so you saw in your physical reality others also not allowing you to be your true self in a sense of not even knowing what that true self is so the gossip on you guys is that you're um <laughs> I haven't even pulled a card a card yet, but I love that. We we don't need the cards necessarily, but it's it's good um you know, energy channeling divination. But the gossip on you guys is basically that you are learning more about your truth and becoming your true self and as you do this you're expanding and attracting others who are aligned with this energy. So this is really beautiful. Okay. You have the nine of pentacles. So you guys are definitely claiming your independence. And I'm getting the sense of independence first from within yourself, but then independence in all other areas, financial independence, freedom of, of self-expression. Um, a lot of you guys could be leaving behind a lot of things as well. And I think the gossip uh, on you is that you are no longer the same person you once were because in the past maybe you would have stayed in certain institutions, situations, groups, places that didn't allow you to be your truest self but that was a choice you were consciously and unconsciously making because you were afraid of what it meant to step out of the mold that you were used to being in all the time. Um, so the gossip on you is that this is the first step to a very beautiful expansive beginning and you're finally stepping into your north node energy um, and it's really really powerful you guys could be seeing nines 999 it's like you're almost done completing a cycle yes the star so definitely could have some Aquarius in here Taurus Aquarius energy I feel like you guys aren't afraid to be in the spotlight and I see the gossip on you as well is that there could be something that you are putting a lot of um, energy into in terms of your own self-healing and this is going to result in you maybe reigniting something that you kind of allowed to fall away. So maybe there was something that you are talented at, that you are gifted at, but um, over the years a lot of different things, everything that we just talked about. Um, in regards to self-concept and outside perceptions and what you think you should be doing versus what what do I truly want is this my truth or is this just what I'm adopting all of this holding you back from being in this energy of expressing your truth and doing what you love unapologetically and I see that a lot of you guys are going to become really successful if you are a singer if you are an artist whatever the case is I see that the gossip on you is that you don't notice or you don't see how successful you're about to be in some sort of field where you're expressing yourself in some way this definitely feels like you're getting into that flow state energy you're connecting more to the flow state you're flowing more with divine guidance but you're also in that zone energy and that creative self-expression energy so a lot of creativity is going to be flowing to you guys and you just have to go with this energy you have to go with the tides and you will be very surprised at where it leads you I feel like you guys are very talented and there's a need to recognize that and allow that to shine I think um you know I'm seeing that um that like poster I don't know I'm seeing it in like a like a classroom it's like don't let anyone duel your shine um and maybe you felt like people were trying to duel your shine and the gossip on you is that it doesn't matter who tries to duel your shine because if you don't duel your own shine that's all that matters there can be 
trillions of others <laughs> trying to, you know, make you feel smaller or make you conform. But if you, the one in the trillion, the needle in the haystack, choose to not be weighed or molded or told how to live your life, then nothing can stop you. And your light will shine even brighter because of your rebellion against the energies that are stacked up, you know, against you or meant to contain you within your ego and make you feel trapped in, in scarcity, right? Okay, let's get one more from the tarot. What's the gossip on group one in the spirit realm? Ooh, you have the four of wands. Yes, the gossip on you is that with this energy that you're embodying, you're attracting a divine counterpart, a true soulmate that's going to accept you unconditionally, love you unconditionally, and that's all because you are first loving yourself unconditionally. The gossip on you is that you're releasing the burdens that have been weighing you down by realizing that they were never yours to carry in the first place, and you're going to be celebrating a lot of beautiful things, beautiful connections in your life. All right, so final message. This is going to be a card of advice from your spirit guides, what advice they have for you um, based on this gossip. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so you have cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much-needed cleansing. Just so you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. So your guides are recommending that you do some sort of cleanse at this time. Um, cleanse your energy, cleanse your space. And I also feel like doing some sort of spiritual bath or connecting with water in some way is a great way for you to cleanse. Uh, but your spirit guides are wanting you to focus on cleansing even within your own mind space freeing yourself from mind clutter recognizing unconscious patterns unconscious habits recognizing what is and isn't yours to carry and being very um conscious and intentional about uh what you give your energy to okay so beautiful reading you guys group number one definitely comment down below let me know how that resonated with you like, share, subscribe for more content. Many blessings. Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. If you guys chose this rock art piece here, this is your reading. Uh, what is the gossip on you in the spirit realm? Right away, when I started uh, your reading, I heard chirp, 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 <laughs> like birds chirping. So I feel like your spirit guides have a lot to say. And they definitely could send you birds as a sign as well. Um, so let's see what is the gossip on you in the spirit realm i definitely see that uh you are embracing your shadow self okay you're embracing the parts of yourself that you once thought you should hide away or that you once were more like ashamed of or you felt like weren't good enough or whatever the case is um the gospel on you is that you're no longer living from a space of insecurity, but you're also no longer feeling ashamed about anything and you're kind of living unapologetically. I think that you guys definitely have like a history, I want to say, or like a dark history <laughs> or maybe like a dark past, you could say. Um, I feel like that's more so just like a labeling of something because everyone has a history and everyone has a past and everyone has things that they think are bad just based off of what we are you know told what is and isn't okay to talk about what is and isn't okay to um you know even in a unconscious way right we're unconsciously consenting to a lot of things just through the media and i think that you guys um the gossip on you is that you're no longer feeding into that energy of oh this is taboo to talk about right for example like mental health is something very taboo to talk about yet everyone struggles with it but it's something that should just be like pushed away or ignored um and i think that the gossip on you guys is that you're recognizing these mental traps and your spirit guides are also maybe even wanting you to recognize them more because there could be certain things where you're 
having I'm hearing like perfectionism right where you're having this mentality of what is wrong versus what is right versus having a space of neutrality and recognizing everything is as it is right a space of acceptance and most of all that acceptance is important for yourself and your own peace um, and I think the gossip is that you guys are being too hard on yourselves that you're also judging yourself too much and you could be being too critical on yourself and it's time for you to break out of this energy I feel like it's kind of different, like some of you guys farther along where it's like, okay, you're recognizing these patterns and you're actually embracing your shadow aspects and the parts of yourself that you thought you should hide away and the things that you thought, you know, weren't okay to say or weren't okay to share. Um, and others of you guys, you need to step into this energy. You need to realize that there's nothing wrong with you and there's also nothing that you should feel like isn't fair or um, isn't valid in some way. Okay. Um, I'm definitely getting that you guys are connecting more to your heart chakra. I'm really getting like earthy energy from you guys. So definitely could have some earth signs here. Um, but I see there is a need to ground yourself, connect to nature. I feel like your guides definitely send you a lot of signs and synchronicities in nature, connect to you through different animals as well. Animal guides, you guys could be seeing a lot of animals. Your spirit guides are definitely sending you a lot of animals. So pay attention to the symbolism. Um, if you do come across certain animals, okay. So, group number two. What is the gossip on you in the spirit realm? <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we got a lot for you guys. So, first we have the Fool. Let's start with that card. So, the Fool, I see that you guys um, are needing to take more leaps of faith. And you're needing to um, do more things without thinking necessarily. I think that you guys have a very powerful mind space and you can see a lot of different potential outcomes, but you also need to allow yourself to just do things without knowing the outcome, okay? You need to practice detachment. You need to not be afraid of the darkness. You need to not be afraid of the void. You need to not be afraid of the unknown, okay? Empty space, empty... It's like you need to sit with your darkness and acknowledge it and accept it and realize that it is a part of you just like every other part of you as well, okay? Um, I'm getting like the wounded healer energy as well and some of you guys could feel like you're take, you feel called to be in more of like a healer position or in a space where you're helping others, um, healing the collective consciousness and maybe some of you guys feel like you shouldn't be a healer, you're not worthy of being a healer or there's just unrealistic expectations or um, perceptions that you're placing on yourself, even in terms of your own divinity and your own spiritual journey. So you guys could be getting caught in certain healing traps. You guys could be, you know, new age spirituality, some of that being too um, pushed onto you where you think that there's only one wrong or right way to do things. I think the tea on you guys is like your spirit guides kind of looking at you and maybe like laughing a bit at the fact that you are not recognizing that the fact that you exist is the proof that you're divine and there's nothing that you need to do to prove that or to get to being divine or to you know be the most divine or whatever the case is right we're always trying to strive and become closer to our own god consciousness connect more to our own highest self connect more to that source energy and that's one thing there's a difference between that and thinking that there's only one way to do things or if you do things in a certain way then you are somehow invalid um or that you have to do like just whatever this energy is i think that you guys need to understand that there's nothing you have to prove or do to be divine and to be loved besides recognize that you are divine and you are loved and you are worthy and that you can do anything you want to do and don't allow your past to hold you back but also don't allow what you may perceive as the right person for a certain position to make you feel like you're not worthy of something so some of you guys even could be wanting to go into different fields i'm using like the healer i feel like that's for some of you guys um 
but it could also be showing up in other ways where maybe you want to be a teacher but all teachers kind of act this way but you want to be the type of teacher that brings in a new perspective that teaches in a different way right rather than all the kids sitting at desks you think that children should be able to you know dance in class and like do all these different things it's like wanting to bring a unique thing to something but then holding yourself back because maybe that's too unique or maybe that's too niche or I don't know like maybe that's too not the way it's supposed to be done and the gossip on you is that you're not realizing that if you were to bring this different perspective or if you were to do things your own way that is powerful that is a bigger manifestation that is a bigger energetic footprint than doing things the same way and doing things like this right or wrong energy it needs to be kind of balanced for you and neutralized and you need to recognize where those patterns are coming from because they're deluding you and holding you back in many ways, okay? The Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, you guys have a lot of success coming towards you, but you just have to uh, move towards it. I think things are going to start moving very quickly as soon as you recognize that you're worthy of this. I feel like there's some praise and success and recognition trying to come towards you, but the gossip on you is that even if you were to get this praise and recognition, you wouldn't feel like you were worthy of it because you're feeding into false perceptions of what is okay okay um i don't know it's very it's a very interesting energy here but just like you guys um you have a unique story to tell okay and maybe this is also an energy of feeling like because of where you're from you can't get to a certain space right feeling like your circumstances um hold you back okay but I'm getting that you guys have a very powerful like origin story you could say and there's something that you're needing to share something that you're needing to tell and it's only through your own perspective recognizing as well that those that resonate with you resonate with you and you're not gonna have to be something else in order to be resonant with the people that are meant to resonate with your message so if you feel like no one cares what you have to say that's not true you can help anyone in the world even just one person um and i think you guys could have a more eccentric or um unique outlook in terms of who's around you as well like you could consider yourself like the black sheep or you know different than your family so that's also something that could be holding you back is that you may want to pursue something in one way but your family has always done things in another way um so the gossip on you in the spirit realm is that um you need to embrace your shadow self you need to recognize that when you embrace your shadow self, this is going to be the catalyst to everything. This is going to be how everything shifts because if there's going to be this deep sense of self-love, appreciation, unconditional love for yourself that you haven't experienced before. And it's through this space that you, I'm hearing time space continuum, but it's through this space that you can open up energetic gateways that weren't previously there due to your own feelings of inadequacy in some sense and it's like the parts of yourself that you may deem as the worst or the stories that you may deem as the worst right or the unshareable or whatever the case is those are the things that are actually the most vital the most important because we live in a society where everything is like hush hush where we're always kind of made to feel like expressing truth is negative and you can't be afraid of the negativity because if you're not causing change in others, then nothing changes and you don't ruffle any feathers. But if you're causing change and sometimes there is a sense of anger around that or frustration, right? There's some fears holding you back of reactions to those around you. Um, if there weren't reactions to what you were doing, then you wouldn't be making waves. And seeing reactions, even if it's not desirable, um, <laughs> they're not desirable reactions, um, it still means that you're making waves. And if someone is angered by what you have to say, if you quote unquote like trigger someone, I don't necessarily like that saying, because I think it's kind of just um, 
use nowadays to make nowadays to like make fun of people that have emotions right in a society like even that could be your taboo thing is actually having emotions in a society where we're taught to you know being emotionless is more cool and you know don't be in your feelings right whatever that even means um i kind of forgot what i was saying but whatever the, like whatever it is that you think you need to recognize where is this coming from and i think that you guys are someone that you're like you're breaking barriers um and the gossip on you is that you're breaking barriers day by day no matter how far along you are in this realization no matter how far along and you you are in doing things unapologetically and knowing that if someone's triggered quote unquote or angered by something that means that you're doing something right that means that you have put a thought form in their brain that maybe wasn't previously there maybe wasn't previously activated because if someone reacts that's because you said something or you did something that changed their perspective and it's not about other people's reactions but some of you guys there are people close to you that you may have to somewhat care about their reaction but you need to know that just because others have a negative reaction it doesn't inherently mean that what you're doing is negative even if you're doing something positive even if you're a truth speaker it's not always going to come with a positive reaction but know that even if those negative reactions come out that is still something positive because you're challenging someone's ego right and you're causing them to think differently and some people they fear the truth right we fear the unknown so some people don't like that feeling but it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do what you feel called to do right so let's get you some more what is the gossip when you group number two from the rebel deck what is the gossip of group number two you have the world needs your power use your voice just don't use it for dumb shit <laughs> you are talented and fucking amazing literally exactly what i'm saying the world needs your power use your voice just don't use it for dumb shit so use your voice use it for the important things the world needs it confirmation you may feel like oh no one cares what i have to say oh well no speak your truth it's important um yeah and your guides are saying that i feel like you guys do have a powerful voice as well you guys are very talented in the way that you speak and the way that you share with others and I also feel like in the way that you maybe can bring people together and the gossip on you is that you're needing to recognize your own um, positive personality traits, okay? Let's get one more from this deck. It's a little too many. What's the gossip on group number two? Okay, we're gonna take these last two we have squeeze you need a big fucking hug so don't be afraid to give yourself a hug um yeah go get a hug give a hug get a hug if you're waiting for a sign well here it fucking is what the hell are you waiting for get that shit done okay so the gossip on you is that you guys need to spread love give give love um and that there are some things that you need to take action towards and I think this reading was really all about what is the true things, you know, at a deeper level that's holding you back from taking action. And your guide's basically calling you out on how um, important your voice is and how unimportant the things that are holding you back from doing certain things and accomplishing certain tasks are in comparison. Okay, so we're gonna get you a final card of advice from your spirit guides, end off your reading, let's see. What advice do your spirit guides have for you at this time for your highest and greatest good? Okay, so we have inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. <laughs> that line is always so funny. <laughs> Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So work with your sacral chakra, work on expressing your creativity. Maybe you guys need to learn how to channel some of those darker emotions into something creative, into something that you're passionate about. Okay, you have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know that you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they are with you at this time. 
so you guys definitely could have some passed over loved ones some of you in this pile and those loved ones are reaching out to you and they also are kind of a part of the gossip here <laughs> on the other side um they're just wanting to say hello let you know that you're loved that you're guided your angels are also here letting you know that you're loved and that you're guided um so yes beautiful reading group number two thank you so much for joining me many blessings namaste